Miles, isn't this one of the biggest travel trailers we've seen so far? I mean, not only does it have three slide outs, but it is so long, you could play a football game on this roof. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. We are very excited to be looking at this amazing sportsman travel trailer here with you today. You will be able to see the floor plan layout and the specs on the screen here. And as we take a look at that, this has not only three slide outs on this side, but also a fourth slide out here on the other side as well. So there are four slide outs in total. This thing is absolutely massive. We will take a look at the exact specs on this unit here in just a second. But before we get into looking at this video, or looking at this RV, I mean, in this video, I want to let you know real quick, we are at McLean's RV in Rockwall, Texas. And McLean's is our newest preferred partner dealer with our company, Firmly Unbound. So what that means is you can text us now at the number on the screen if you are interested in this RV or there are hundreds of other RVs in their network as well. If you are ready to seriously start shopping for an RV or purchase an RV, you can text us at the number on the screen and we would love to personally help you out and make sure you have a great experience with getting into your next RV, which is why we went out and we talked to over a dozen different dealerships, starting with our home state of Texas, to find a dealership that we wanted to work with based off of how they treated us, how we saw them interact with customers, the product lineup that they had, and we are very excited to be working with McLean's RVs now. They have five different locations, four in Texas, one in Oklahoma. So if one of these locations is convenient to you and you're ready to start shopping for your RV, you can text us at the number on the screen and we will make sure that you get taken care of and have a great experience. Now, as we go along the outside, the specs on this model are going to be very important because it is so big. This is definitely three quarter ton truck territory at least. Let's see, the gross vehicle weight rating is 10,460 pounds. This actually is not that bad considering there are four slide outs on here. Only has a cargo carrying capacity of 970 pounds, so not too terribly high on that. Um, this is going to be something somewhat like a destination trailer. Um, if you've seen destination trailers, the only difference with this and a destination trailer really is a true destination trailer has more of a squared off finish here in the front. So a destination trailer is actually even a little bit bigger than this. So this is more of a traditional size travel trailer, which makes this, I believe, the largest travel trailer that we have ever looked at on this channel if you rule out destination trailers. Up front here, you're gonna have two 30 pound propane bottles. So definitely set up for more of a extended stay or full-time living sort of setup with the bigger propane bottles there. Battery disconnect switch here, and this is where your batteries will go. Power tongue jack up front. And then this is an aluminum sided RV. So all of your siding will be aluminum and then it will have wooden framing throughout. Um, I believe this door is locked and unfortunately I don't have, actually, you know what? I might have the right key to unlock this. Let's see real quick. Yep, that key will do the trick. You can see in here, very small storage compartment. You'll see why that is when we go inside just with the layout of the floor plan. But wood framing on this travel trailer as well, so you're gonna have wood framing. It's, I mean, I guess it's good they gave you that space, but it's really kind of useless. You have manual stabilizers here and then down underneath, it is a fully enclosed underbelly. All your water tanks and water lines will sit above the insulation in the enclosed underbelly. So when you have your furnace running, you are going to have heat going to your water tanks and water lines so they don't freeze. Now this is where you really see that more destination trailer style with this sliding um, glass door here, kind of like a patio door for your second entry. You are going to have the standard three tier step for both of your steps and then another door going into the hallway there right before your bedroom and that door actually goes directly into your bathroom as well. So you'll have that really cool patio door. This is a massive slide out here. So that'll be your one slide out on this side and then as we move our way down this way, you do have a cable connection and outlet here for a TV outside. And you're going to have a huge awning out here to cover this whole space. Two outdoor speakers, ladder to get up onto the roof, and you're going to have a spot for a backup camera prep. 
does have a pretty high ladder, so you do have to step on the rear bumper and then take a pretty big step up there to get onto that ladder. So that's something that's a little interesting. I wish they would have gone a little bit lower on the bottom rung of that ladder because I did climb up on the roof for the intro of this video and it was a little bit of a struggle. Satellite and cable hookups up here on the, or back here on the back so you can hook up a satellite if you want to do that. You're going to have your spare tire on the back here. And then as we go along this way, you'll have your three slide outs again. This is going to be storage underneath the bed. So down underneath here, this is where your bed is at in the RV and you can see your wood framing there as well. Really excited because we finally, after three years of filming RVs in the summer in Texas, invested in a generator. So this is a 9,000 watt generator. We are hoping in almost any circumstance we'll be able to fully run every RV that we encounter that doesn't have power hookups. Um, if you haven't been following my channel for long enough, I've been doing this for almost four years now and the last three years in the summer, I have filmed these RVs in the dead of the heat in Texas with no ACs on in these RVs where sometimes it's 120, 130 degrees inside. There's no telling because the thermostats only go up to 100 degrees and you can't tell how hot it is after that. So finally, we will have more comfort in bringing you these videos, which I hope will make them better quality for you as well as we are more comfortable. I'm coming here. This is another storage compartment. This looks like it's going to be about the same as the other side there that we saw. Actually, oh, some connections here. So this looks like your water lines going down to your fresh water tank and that's a water pump there as well. So quick access to those things there. So that's actually pretty convenient and pretty nice. Your water connections right here. So fresh water connection if you want to fill your fresh water tank and your city water connection if you're wanting a um, pressurized water system going into your RV if you're at an RV park or campground that has a water supply. All your slide outs are on these rack and pinion style slides. So if you look down underneath here, you can see the rack and pinion style slide out there. That's because they are all very large slide outs. And that is pretty much everything. If we missed anything on the outside that you want to know, let us know down below in the comments. Let, you, let us know what you think about the outside. And then let's go take a look at the inside of what a travel trailer this big looks like. As we go inside here, this is a KZ product. KZ was established in 1972. So they have been around for a long time. It's a KZ Sportsman. And one thing I liked that this comes with that was definitely unnecessary that they didn't have to do, but they did anyways, is this screen defender. You don't see this even in a lot of fifth wheels. So this is a nice touch where you have this screen protection. This is gonna be like a metal gate here that protects your screen from pets and things like that. You also can see this is 41 feet, two inches. So very long travel trailer. I think I've only looked at one other travel trailer ever that was over 41 feet. So this is right up there with the longest travel trailers we have ever seen. Um, sales price on this as we walk inside is gonna be just a little bit over $50,000. So if you are interested in this RV, you can text us at the number on the screen. We will get you exact purchasing information, whether you're wanting to pay cash or finance, whatever it may be. You can text us at the number on the screen and we can get you the purchasing information or set up a time for you to come take a look at it in person. As we walk inside, what are your initial thoughts? When I first walked in here, yeah. I was amazed. Yeah. I was like, is this a travel trailer? Right. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Uh, it feels like we're in a flat floor fifth wheel. So if you don't know much about RVs, this is a travel trailer. Fifth wheels are ones that hook up in the bed of the truck. So they're typically bigger. Um, travel trailers connect at the bumper of your truck or your um, SUV. In this case, it's gonna be a truck because this is huge. You definitely want a three quarter ton truck for something this big at least. Um, might even want like a one ton for something this size. But definitely a big space. You can see a nice long hallway with multiple doors there. So we'll get to what's behind there in a second. But for your living room space, I mean, this is like, it's kind of like an apartment. This is ideal. Yeah. If you're going to like stay in something for an extended period of time, for sure. You would definitely want this much space. Yeah. And because it's not like a true destination trailer, it can be towed a bit more. And it's not like it's built and um, equipped to not be towed down the road. So... Um, with that being said, let's kind of go through the living room area here. First thing I see is like that it comes with the Thomas Paine collection of furniture. So this is going to be a more premium collection of furniture, uh, more comfortable. You have heat and massage in both of your recliners here, and you're going to have a USB port here as well. Same on that side. And this doubles as a love seat and two recliners. So this can flip down and you have more charging ports here. Wow. Two cup holders and your recliners. Then those are also going to lay all the way flat. 
Here you have your two cushion sofa that will make into a bed. It's gonna pull out to about a queen size bed storage up through here as well and then that storage we saw on the outside that is what is tucked behind these little areas here so that's why that storage is so minimal out there because it's tucked behind these um counters or not countertops these are uh, tabletops that you have next to your sofa i do love this glass yeah, it's this like is a very interesting frost color like yeah. it's not black and it's not gray it's <laughs> right in between yeah it's kind of like a matte color almost yeah. like a matte black nice um shelf space here that you have on top or above your sofa so good decor that you could put up there also have outlets on both sides and then coming to your left you're going to have a tv here it's a really thin bezel tv which i appreciate however this is probably only about a 42 inch screen tv or so and you could easily fit like a 55 inch screen tv in here it looks like it would probably just block these um cabinets that open up so if you wanted to put a bigger TV in here, it can be done, but it might block those cabinets there. Storage up above here. And love the uh, LED light touch that you have above the slide out there. Looks really neat. I would love to see that at night. Right? It would look really nice with just those on in here and not the other lights. But you do have independent controls of all these different lights, so you could have just the LED lights on if you want. Got your Furion soundbar here, and then it does have an HDMI plug, so if you wanted to plug in something like a PlayStation or Blu-ray player, you can do that. Have your electric fireplace, so this will be an electric heat source for you. And as we talk about heating and air conditioning, so your electric heat source, you have floor vents here for your furnace, so that's gonna be a residential style ducting for your furnace there. And then with your AC, they're using the Coleman Mach Q-Series ACs with the residential air filter here. These are extremely quiet. We have the ACs on full blast right now. They work perfectly. Work perfectly. I mean, you can, I can see your hair moving. I don't know if they can see it on camera, but I mean, it's definitely blowing enough air to move your hair and it's super quiet. We don't have to talk any louder than we would normally talk in here to hear each other with the ACs on full blast. Nope. So definitely appreciate that. Coming to your refrigerator. This is actually a residential refrigerator. So this is not an RV refrigerator. This is going to be a much more efficient refrigerator designed to last you know a longer extended period of time um, endure more use because this is built with the intention or thought that people might live in it full time and it's not blue it's not blue no <laughs> that's just the cover on it yeah definitely have to put that out there it is going to be a stainless steel color but that blue is just the wrapping that's on it coming into your kitchen you're going to have a pretty unique almost like u-shaped kitchen here mm -hmm. now i do want to note when you have your slide outs closed you are going to have limited accessibility to things because this slide out here it is going to close into this hallway there oh, and it yeah. looks like it's going to block that hallway completely or block your access into this living room space. it is yeah but you can still get to the bathroom you can get to both bedrooms when your slide outs are closed but if you need to get to the refrigerator with the slides closed that may pose an issue right there with that slide out. If you come into the kitchen, you have a three burner stove. It's the Furion three burner stove and oven. And that is your smallest size oven that you're gonna get in a travel trailer. So definitely nothing crazy on that end. You have a vent fan here, so it will vent all of your smells outside of the trailer when you're cooking. Outlets up on top. Oh yeah, good, good catch. Outlet there on top as well. Some space under. Got a little small microwave and some storage space down underneath here as well and some storage next to your oven <laughs> and then you have a window here so for some more natural light plus there are just windows all the way around the only way they could have gave you more windows is to put a front windshield on here but you don't see that on aluminum sided rvs the patio door setup also gives a ton of natural light as we keep moving this way like the black handles on your cabinets have good storage space there. A little countertop space here with an outlet and then storage underneath your sink. That's a big storage space. That's the biggest storage space we've looked at so far. Stainless steel single piece sink underneath here. So no split sink. Um, definitely like that. And then you have three drawers here that pull out. So it's not the most kitchen storage space ever, but it is pretty workable. Um, I do know, real quick, I want to let them know there is another floor plan they make um, that we haven't filmed yet that you'll probably see in the future. 
in the same brand, in the same size, that has one bedroom instead of two bedrooms, and they give you a bigger kitchen in that model with two pantries. So if kitchen space is what you want, they do have another model of these available that gives you much more kitchen storage. I was going to point out the outlet on the wall oh, yeah. and the outlet on the... There you go. Multiple outlets. Yep. Good to point those out. Yep. Have table here, four chairs. They do strap in when you're going down the road. Looks like they probably have storage underneath them as well. They do have a leaf that extends out here off the end so you can get additional length on the table. I do think it's cute that they match this material. Oh, yeah. That is nice. It matches the balance up above the window. So you have matching there. And finally, your slide out flooring here, it's going to be the same material flooring as the regular flooring in this travel trailer. So it looks nice and finished and there's no carpet here in this living area. So that's everything in this space. I mean, it just feels huge. It feels like we've gone through most of the, of the travel, and I almost said fifth wheel. I mean, that's how big it is. It feels like we've gone through most of the travel trailer already and we are literally only halfway through it. So let's start working our way back down this long hallway here where you come to your first door, which is your mid bunk. So this is your second bedroom. It's going to have a bunk bed up over the top here with a 250 pound capacity on it. We can put this down here, see how that goes there. You have your window there with curtains on it. Sofa here and this sofa will also make into a bed. It's just a jackknife sofa, so it's very easy. Storage underneath there, literally with one hand, can just lay it flat. And I guess we should see how long these beds are because people probably want to know. I would assume y'all want to know how long the bed is. I would want to know. <laughs> Let's uh, put this bunk back up. And when I lay down in here, this is about, I would say it's about six feet long. So <laughs> this, I'm about six two and my head definitely hit the wall but it feels like this is about six feet in length. So if you're under six feet, definitely gonna have no problem sleeping here. And if you wanna take this out, incredibly easy. I mean, it's just a few frame support pieces around the perimeter that you would just start unscrewing things and it will come out, no problem. I've seen lots of people do that with mid bunk spaces where they take this out completely and make this a playroom and maybe just have the bunk overhead or whatever it may be. Or you can put you know, a different bed setup in here instead of the sofa. Have storage up here, that's gonna go all the way through, and then can fit a pretty good, considerable size TV in this space with how big this is. Or you could have like a computer monitor, things like that as well, but easily could fit about a 42 inch screen TV in that area. And then bunch of storage down underneath here as well. You have outlets here, cable connection here, and you have USB ports here as well. This is a perfect kids room. Oh yeah. Have your AC ducted in here, heat ducted in here, so it'll be nice and comfortable. It's already really cool in here and this air is coming out very strong. So really impressed with the AC so far in this travel trailer. Then when we come out of here, that's gonna take us to the bathroom. Now the bathroom is probably the one area that's lacking the most space, but that is because they're trying to give you all your space elsewhere. So you have your bathroom in here, gonna have a plastic toilet. So not the best toilet ever, but you have a plastic toilet there. At least you have a toilet. Yep, corner <laughs> shower, which isn't necessarily preferred, but sometimes I don't really mind these as much as other customers that I've worked with in the past do. Like this one here has a pretty nice radius for me to move around. Now I don't have like the widest shoulders ever and I'm relatively thin, so it's pretty easy for me to fit in this space. Um, some people that are larger feel pretty claustrophobic in here, so that's something to keep in mind. You do have the skylight in here, so your ceiling height's probably about six, seven, six, eight with the skylight. And then this here doesn't quite sit high enough. I would have to lift it up over my head to get that over my head or duck down underneath it. And then it's a plastic two-piece shower. So you'll have your seams there on the bottom, and then you'll have some shelving for some soaps and whatnot in the corners. Then you have your sink right here. This is a nice little setup actually. I think that's a good use of the space there, putting the sink in the corner. And then so have, smart. have that shelf there with the little cubby and some shelving in there for your medicine cabinet. 
plus some storage underneath the sink. It is a plastic sink in here with the plastic faucet, so. Lots of plastic. Yeah, it's, um, this is not a high-end brand by any means. It's definitely entry level. I know the um, $50,000 price tag can seem a little intimidating, but that is because of the size. Um, this is just, for the amount of money you're spending, this is about as much trailer as you can get right around $50,000. I don't know what you could get into that'll give you more space than this at that price. Come back in here, and you have your bed. This is a king size bed here. It looks like it might be a short king though. I wouldn't be surprised if this is probably only like 74. Ooh, yeah, yep. See, I'm 6'2", so this is probably 74 inches long. You were right. Yeah, about a 74 inch bed. And then it had a pretty nice mattress on it. I was actually pretty impressed. It's a Serta mattress. And so it's not terrible. It's better than most RV mattresses that you will get straight from the manufacturer. Big windows in here. You notice that? Oh yeah. Lots of natural light coming into this space. You have the big window off the back wall, another big window here looking out to your campsite. This is always nice because if you wake up in the morning and you have your campsite set up out on this side of the trailer, a lot of trailers don't have a window for you to see out there. So this allows you to see what's going on outside without you having to step out of your bedroom, which is nice. Here you're gonna have your closet space. So this will have a clothing rod across the top. And then you're gonna have more storage built in down underneath here. I really like this color wood. Yeah, it looks nice. Down underneath there you have more storage with some shelves and then three pull-out drawers here. Now the bottom two are a little bit bigger than the top one. This top one's a little bit more shallow. And then finally, we looked at this outside too, but you have your storage underneath the bed. It is strut assisted. I wish it would come up a little bit higher. It seems like it certainly could, but storage down there underneath the bed. Then you do have a place for the TV in this corner have that there and then I also want to point out your screen door over here this goes to the patio door so you can't have a screen on that patio so that is where that will get installed second AC in here same thing it's that residential air filter with the Coleman Mach Q series AC and I just realized we didn't even have the lights on in here yet we didn't even turn the lights on so there's a little bit more light that you'll have in here as well let there be light but overall just a massive travel trailer we really want to know your thoughts Want to know what you think as we come out this way. Again, keep in mind, if you are interested in this travel trailer, you can text us at the number on the screen here. So you'll be able to text us. We will personally help you and take care of you. We are here at McLean's RV in Rockwall, Texas. They have four other locations, four total in Texas, one in Oklahoma, so five in total. We would love to help you out. And like I said, we spent a lot of time talking to different dealerships in Texas to find one that we wanted to work with. And we chose to work with McLean's and we're glad that they took us on to be a part of their team and their program here. So we were really excited to help you out. So you can text us at the number on the screen if you are ready to seriously start shopping for your next RV. Or maybe you want this one here. And then don't forget to go check out firmlyunbound.com. And always remember to live firmly unbound.